Hello everyone, uh, thanks for stopping by. A couple things I wanna share with you uh, that I've been thinking about here in the last couple of days uh, that's kinda of made me a little upset and I really wanted to share this with you all and partly address this to the uh, Biden administration just to, I don't know, I think we have to highlight this and I think there's some wrong things going on and, and we need to fix them. So a little bit of background. I worked at Tesla for four years. I stopped working there in September of this year in 2021. And I started at the company as an analyst, an operations analyst, and I left the company as a program manager. And essentially my role was to make the warehouse uh, that I worked at and the warehouse network, distribution network in the United States as efficient and as good as possible, both for our customers and our employees. So try to make it as efficient as possible, easy to work at, get parts to the customers as fast as possible, so on and so forth. There's been a few things going on here with the uh, with the United States government since uh, the new administration has come in that seems very odd and very uh, I don't know a little bit dishonest, uh, especially towards Tesla. And I just I think I think it needs to be talked about. And from my perspective as an employee, I, I kind of kind of want to give my two cents. So uh, it all kind of started with the uh, electric vehicle summit that happened not too long ago, where the uh, the Biden administration invited all the different U.S. automakers. Oh, a few U.S. automakers that were electrifying their fleet. I believe GM was there. I think Ford was there. I can't remember exactly. The U United Auto Workers Union was there, and Tesla was missing. Okay, so Tesla, the the company that makes the electric cars, uh, the most electric cars in the, in the United States and the world, was missing from the summit. So that was really odd. Come to find out, they were never invited. Got it. You know, politics. I don't know. S something's going on. Weird behavior, but understandable, right? Something that seems par for the course for the government, unfortunately. And then a couple of days ago, a video surfaced with President Biden, the United Auto Workers Union, and GM in what seemed like a joint conference where Biden gave all the credit of the EV movement, the transition to EVs, squarely to GM and the UAW. You know, I think uh, almost verbatim here, uh, Biden gave credit to Mary Barra, who's the CEO of GM, that she led the EV evolution and that GM was responsible for moving us forward. Someone who worked at Tesla, I find that honestly somewhat offensive. Uh, I've seen it with my own two eyes working there, how incredibly hard the people work. It's honestly difficult to hear that credit being given to honestly a company that I, I don't believe deserves it. I think people at Tesla have worked so incredibly hard for at least the last decade. And, and I want to make it clear, I'm speaking on my behalf, right? But seeing the people that have worked there, it's making it very hard for me to stay quiet because I just know how much effort has been put in. I, I wish I wish you, everybody here could, could go in and see the amount of work that is being done on a daily basis to move our country and our world towards a sustainable future, okay? And seeing our own leader, the, the leader of the, of the United States, the president, give credit to another company so freely is very upsetting, you know? And of course, there's a sense of pride for me. I, I dedicated a, a significant portion of my time and effort to this company, believing that this company was the leader and by every metric they are, right? But that credit being taken away seems very, it makes me feel very dis disheartened. It makes me feel like I, like I don't exist in a way. I think ultimately that's going to be very bad for the Biden administration. I think whatever votes they're trying to get from this stunt, I don't know what word to use here, but from this communication is going to backfire very badly. You're alienating a, a lot of US citizens, thousands of US citizens that have worked at Tesla, currently work at Tesla, that have put in so much effort, blood, sweat, and tears to move this company forward and this mission forward that are being completely ignored and are being completely sidelined in the favor of whatever political discourse the government wants to have. That is not right. And then you, you put on top of that the, the, the passionate fan base the, the tens and hundreds and potentially millions of people in the United States that follow Tesla and know that they're the leaders, that all those people that have worked there are truly the leaders of moving us forward. And then the, the transparency behind how that credit is being given out to the, what seems like the highest bidder is going to, in my opinion, backfire so badly that it may cost the Biden admin 
the re-election year in 2024. Who knows? Potentially even earlier, right? My opinion. But just seeing this happen as an employee just sits very, as a, as a previous employee, as a former employee, it sits very poorly with me. And perhaps I have a lot of pride that I'm unable to swallow right now. And I'm sure there's people at Tesla that are like, you know what, this is another thing, yet another thing, we're being, you know, punched in the mouth, whatever. We survived, you know, multiple bouts of near bankruptcy. We survived uh, a media that was being super unfair and covering us. We survived 40% <laughs> of our stock being sold short with, with the goal of bankrupting the company, right? We survived all these things and, and we survived the day-to-day -day insanity of trying to build this company from scratch. But I know deep down inside, you know, and I know if I work there today, I would feel like that and eh, whatever, I'll move on. You know, it's whatever, yeah, this is another thing. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm working towards. That's what's important. But as an outsider now, maybe I have a little bit too much time on my hands. I don't know. It does not sit well. It's wrong. It feels very, very wrong. And so I really just wanna make this video to, to honestly give the Biden admin some guidance here. Like if, if they would ever be insane enough to listen to this video. Please change your tone. I think having your tone this way is going to be very problematic and it's alienating a significant portion of the United States, especially citizens that have put in so much work moving this country forward towards an electrified future and they're being completely ignored. They're being completely sidelined. Please reconsider this. Please reconsider this. I think this is going to be a big deal as time goes along, as Tesla continues to grow and more and more fans and workers continue to hop on the mission of moving our country forward with electrification. And Tesla not being part of that dialogue, I think it's gonna be a very dangerous decision for, the, for this political party. It, it may potentially lose them elections that they did not foresee today because they think that holding on to the UAW vote is gonna be more important or the GM vote in Wisconsin, Ohio or whatever. Okay, there can be a world where both exist. I think it's very important to give Tesla their credit and give Tesla the recognition and all those tens of thousands of workers that have busted their asses so hard. I personally saw people on their hands and knees working for hours, 12 hour days, seven days a week, trying to build up that facility from scratch. Countless amounts of of, of, of hours problem solving, troubleshooting, fixing, building things from scratch. They are not being recognized for that work. And worse, they're taking that credit and, and the recognition that should have gone to those people and they're giving it to the highest bidder, the UAW and GM. It's wrong. Please reconsider this, okay? I would really appreciate it. And for those that have listened to this video, uh, if you agree with what I'm saying, like it, share it. If you disagree, Drop a comment if you agree, drop a comment, but honestly, whatever, that's not important. For me, it's just to put this out there. There's, there's many people in the, in the, in the Tesla verse, right? So people that follow Tesla on Twitter, on YouTube, people that put out content for Tesla, YouTube, Twitter, um, all these different places. It's, it's a very common theme. They're very upset with this administration. These are a lot of voters, y'all. This, these are a lot of voters, okay? Please reconsider your stance. I think it's gonna be very important and I think it will, it will be a big variable for the success of this administration in the future. Really appreciate you guys stopping by and listening and uh, watching this video and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.